Have you come across like the mentality of um, if things are going great or things are going not so great, but you show up either way and give it the same effort every day? <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> All the time, right? Yeah. So well, why is that? Is it because you're passionate about what you do? Or is it like, what? why? Why? Where does that come from? Well, Mark Cuban says, show up as if someone is out there working 24-7 to beat you up, you know? And so... Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's it's important that you, you show up and put a your all, especially when you don't feel like it. And, and I think... Um, like, that's where discipline comes in, you know, and that's where, like, disciplined people are the people that actually accomplish uh, big things. But um, I don't know. I mean, what about you? I mean, how, how how do you show up? Yeah, man. I mean, that's something that I think a lot of people struggle with, and I've definitely been in that camp. I think it's part of being the human experience. Some days you're not motivated and you don't feel like it, but I think the difference between people who fucking get results and they get where they want to go show up regardless of how they feel, yes. right? And like Tony says it all the time, sponsored by Tony. Tony says it all the time. He says, I don't fucking negotiate with my mind and my brain and what it's telling me. I know what I need to do and I just fucking execute on it, yeah. right? And so, you know, when you're going through good times, a lot of times you want to sit back. Mm -hmm. When you're going through bad times, you want to fucking hide. Yep. But that's when you need to step in and be like, no, I know what I need to get done. I'm going to do it. You know what? There was a time, actually, I, I I remember this very clearly. There was a time when I was a child, I used to always hide when there were, like, problems happening. Um, so I grew up in a family where, like, there was just, there was just a lot of, like, trouble. You know, my, like, my, my older brother's always fighting. My mom and sister always fighting. My sister had a, had a, uh, a boyfriend in college that my mom didn't approve of. And so it was like just this whole like, you know, like the, the, the household was just troublesome, you know? And I remember every time there was a problem, what I would do is I would like hide, like literally hide and hope that it's going to be okay whenever I came out. Or like if, let's say if I'm if I'm scared of like uh, thunder or something like that, it's raining outside, I would like hide until it like stopped. And then I can't remember what it was, but I was little where I was like, you know what? Fuck this. Like, this time I'm just going to, like, face it and let's see what's going to happen. And I remember feeling really good. And as Tony says, self-esteem is created not when people tell you you're great, people, like, pat you in the back. It's when you do something and you show up for yourself and, like, you actually, like, prove something for yourself, you know? Has that ever happened to you or have you noticed that? Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, the big one that sticks with me is you create confidence in your ability to succeed when you keep your word to yourself. So when you tell yourself you're going to do something, whether it's something big or small, yes. you have to fulfill on that Ooh, okay. or else you start having this belief that you don't do what you say you're going to do. And it's like a negative spiral. Like when, when, when you were switching from, you know, offline to online or when you were changing the way you were working out or your diet or whatever, did you ever have moments where you were like, okay, I'm just going to do like one small thing at a time and I'm going to tick it off and feel good about it and keep it moving. Did you ever like do that kind of a strategy or think in that way? Yeah, absolutely. And I think this is why we always preach like, you know, New Year's resolutions suck and, and don't create a long list of things because you have so many things that you're working towards. And after a while, what's going to happen is you're just going to get demotivated because you keep promising yourself that you're going to do something or not do something. And then you show up the other way. And again, that like builds, like you checking off the, those tasks or whatever is what builds self-esteem, is what builds self-confidence. And so if you keep doing that, you're just going to show up in a way where like you're going to stop trusting yourself. And I think it's very important that we create trust within ourselves. 100%. If you can't trust yourself, you're fucked. Yes. You can put that shit on a quote meme somewhere. Because yeah. <laughs> it's true. If you can't trust yourself, you are fucked because... Number one, that'll project into other people. You'll believe they're not capable. And if you have a family or you're running a team or you're doing something, the second that you're putting that bullshit in, into their space, that's not good. And if you can't trust yourself, all of a sudden you're going to start this spiral where it's like, oh, 
you know, I always think of it like dominoes. And so if you find yourself in a position where you're like, you didn't get up on time, you haven't gone to the gym in a bunch of days, you haven't ticked off a bunch of shit. A strategy is actually to look backwards and see what the first domino was and see, well, if I sleep in, then I don't exercise. If I don't exercise, I don't eat well. If I don't eat well, I give up on other shit and it just creates this big spiral, right? So it's like the small things, the small domino, the small hinge that swings a big door are the things to focus on. And these are just little mediocre things every, every day, minimal stuff. 